Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so listen, you guys, I totally forgot to film an intro for this video. <laughs> so yeah, this is just going to be a quick little intro. The palette that I am using for this look today is the You Beauty by Glaminatrix Cosmetics absolutely gorgeous palette so so beautiful and i had a lot of fun creating this look so let's just go ahead and jump right in so this is the beautiful palette lovely 12 shades shimmers duochromes mattes just beautiful so the first shade i'm starting out with is bloody oath really really pretty it's kind of like a light blue but it has a little bit of uniqueness to it. I don't know if it has like a hint of gray or what, but very, very pretty shade. I just wanted to use this like as the base, the backdrop in my crease for this halo eye. This color builds up very nicely. As you can see, I'm just using a fluffy brush to blow that out in my crease. So next I'm going into the dark blue shade, which is Fair Dinkum. And I'm taking another fluffy brush, a little bit smaller though, Focusing this shade in my inner and outer corners. As you can see, I'm just trying to really frame up what I'm gonna do for this halo eye. You guys, I am not the best at halo eyes at all. As a matter of fact, halo eyes are extremely difficult for me. <laughs> So yeah, just whenever I do them, I'm always nervous and anxious, but I just kind of took my time, deepened up the inner and outer corner and just kind of blew that out and blended it with that first shade that I used in my crease. Now I'm going back in with that lighter blue and just kind of blending the edge of that dark blue, just making sure I have a nice seamless blend for this crease area. And so as you can see, this is how I'm framing up my halo eye. <laughs> Still unsure, but it worked out okay. So to create the halo, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This is the shade Halo, the super bright white one. And I'm just trying to carve out a nice halo shape. I think my eyes, I don't know, they just don't really take halos that great. But to start out the shimmer, I'm just using a flat brush going into the shade Old Mate. You guys, this shade is so pretty. And I wanted to see if it would work better with the brush or my finger, so I tried it out both ways. The finger applied the shadow very, very nicely. Of course, quicker than the brush, but because I needed to be kind of precise and neat on the placement, I did go ahead and use the brush to kind of fill in those edges. So now I'm going back into the dark blue shade, Fair Dinkum, and I'm just using a firm, fluffy brush to tap out the edge of that, um, you know, that shimmer shadow, just to create the look of the halo eye. And so this is what we have. Very, very nice. I love how these shadows blended together. Okay, so the rest of my face is complete. <laughs> Moving on to the liner, I am using one of my ColourPop Cream Gel liners. This one, very, very nice. Very pretty, very smooth. It's the shade Cat Suit. So now I'm going back into that dark blue shadow and I'm just using that to further smoke out my lower lash line using a smaller kind of like pencil type brush as you can see i don't want it to get too too wild down there but i do want to make sure that that color is nice and bold and pigmented on that lower lash line so for my inner corner pop i'm using this beautiful blue shade straya i believe that's how you pronounce it i did spray my brush as you saw and I'm just tapping that in that inner corner with a very, very small kind of flat type brush, pencil type brush, and just placing that right in that corner and just blending it out a little bit into that blue. I love that color, it's so gorgeous. It's like a duochrome blue and green or something. So for my lips, I am using one of my favorite lip liners from DJ's Unique Boutique. This is a dark brown one. And then I'm filling that in also with a DJ's Unique Boutique lipstick. This is one of her liquid lipsticks. And topping that off with one of my Maybelline Lifter glosses. So just kind of tapping that on top just to add a little bit of sheen 
little bit of shine to this nude type lip. I wanted to kind of go soft with this bold eye. So I am using some of my Makeup by Tammy lashes today and still using this Kiss. It's like the felt tip lash glue applicator. And like I said before, extremely easy to use. I really like it. It's just like I said, it gets dirty, but it's been working out really nicely for me. So I am using my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Really like this mascara as well, you guys. I think I'm running low on it. And to set my face, I'm trying out this ColourPop No Filter Setting Spray. And it's funny because the base that I put on today was kind of, you know, that natural dewy type finish. And then I spray a matte setting spray on top of it. <laughs> so I don't know, my face still looks kind of dewy to me. But this is the look for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love this palette. It's gorgeous and the shadows perform beautifully. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!